Hello, hi everyone. Uh, today is a Q&A session. So um, it's a question for one of my popular video, uh, this which is automatically high your rows based on cell value. So in this one, the solution I have is that you can automatically select your drop downs and then your rows will hide and show accordingly with this macro code. So the question that I get now is that uh, they want to, the user want to get actually have a uh, click uh, bottom that they can click and then um, the tables and rows will show accordingly. So I'm like, okay, let's, let's figure out how to do that in this video. Okay. So this is my raw data, really simple. Um, here you can select one of the two cases and depending on the country that you selected, you will either show all those rows or all those rows. So now um, the actually the very important thing here is first to make sure that you save the file as a macro enabled um, file and make sure you have this developer tab on. If you don't like check out my intro to uh, macro videos that it will um, show you how to get this developer tab to show. So with that, um, now if you are at this stage as me, go to view code. This will get you to this page. Um, you can also come here uh, from with outer and F11, but here is where it is. So it automatically brings you to the sheet one, which is our sheet here. Um, and uh, actually for the one that I was shown before, you can see that the macro code is actually in this tab. However, with the bottom, the one that we are going to show is actually in this module. In this module here, it's not in one of the sheets. To get the module out, if you don't see this, you can go to this um, insert and then click module. It will show um, the, a new module, a blank module. So now let me click on this. Um, and you can see that I've actually already have my codes ready for you so that you're not going to be here to wait for me to type. I'm just going to explain to you how the code works and I'm going to paste the code into the description so you can copy and paste for your use. Okay, so actually for this question, um, I have two scenarios. Uh, the first one, the first scenario is that we click, uh, we select, uh, uh, we create a bottom. However, you would still need to manually select which country you have and then you click on the bottom. So this is a code that used for that. So now let's go ahead and um, create our uh, bottom. So it's going to be insert under the developer tab. Um, this is usually the button that we use. And then when you do that, it's going to ask you which one that you want to select the macro that you select. So the one that we're going to use is this one, go OK. And then it's going to show bottom six and then you can basically uh, rename it. So I'm going to name it as um, hide rows based on my country selection. You can name it whatever. Um, and of course it's very long. So now I'm going to drag it to make sure it shows all the con content. So now at, actually you can see you can already click on it. But before I click on it, I want to show you what it does. So here, um, the code is actually saying that after you click on it, um, it's going to activate this uh, tab. It's going to select range C5, which is this cell. It's going to look at the value here, which can either be Canada or India. And if the case, if the value is Canada, then we hide all the India rows and only show the Canada rows. That's what those two rows are saying. And if the case is Indian, then uh, we show like the reverse. So now, and then we end the selection and then we end the sub. This is what the, this code does. So now it's showing Indian. So let's click on it. Now it's only showing me the Indian rows. Now let's go back to Canada. Note that I manually select it and I click on it again. Now it's only showing me the Canada one. So if this is how you want to apply, um, this is one case for it. Um, however, I did prepare another case because I think people can uh, use it differently. I, I don't know what the users, uh, what um, the commenters scenario is exactly. But what if the, um, you just don't want to manually select it? Like you just want to have two bottom, uh, two bottoms here to tell you what, uh, what to do instead of manually selecting. So there's a way to do that. And you can see this is exactly what those two codes are for. So 
to do that, um, I need to create two more buttons here. So one is this one, which applies to only Canada. And uh, I'm going to show it as uh, show my Canada uh, data. You can name it whatever. Um, and I'm going to copy it and paste to be the same one and then just say show my Indian data. So my purpose here is that regardless of what the cell is, the cell is literally kind of irrelevant right now. So if I click on this, it's only going to show me my Canada data. If it's here, it's only going to show, if I click on this, it's only going to show me my Indian data. Um, actually, let me bring them up. So when I hide my rows, I don't hide my bottoms as well. Uh, Okay, so and then one last thing you need to do is to make sure that you check your macro correctly. So actually this one, um, I remember because I was copying it, I think it's still assigned to this one. So I need to make sure it's assigned to the Indian one. So it's correct. And then now if I click on it, let's check our code. What does our code say? So my Canada macro is saying that if I click on this, uh, this value, the C5 value will automatically change to Canada regardless of what, of what it is before. And then it's gonna only going to show me my Canada role. And then the same applies to India. If I have, if I click on this, this will automatically go to India and then it will only show my India uh, roles. So let's see if that's what it is supposed to do. Here we go. So it's showing India now, it's showing the India range. And then if I click on this, show my Canada data, it's showing in Canada here and my Canada range. Okay, so that is my two scenarios of how to hide your rows based on cell value and with the bottom. I hope that you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.